This has been by far my most requested video, whether it's in the YouTube comments, whether it's in Instagram comments, or people even DMing me asking for a tutorial on how to effectively do YouTube ads to promote a music video. And it is very difficult for an artist to direct people to a music video. And the reason for that is Okay, you've invested a lot of time and money into creating your music video, so it is good and you want people to see it. But the problem is you're asking people to give up three minutes of their time. And in this current era, imagine how much content you can consume in three minutes. You can go on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Imagine how many pieces of content can be consumed in that time. But you are asking someone to give up three minutes of their time to consume one piece of content. And that is why emerging artists will always struggle to get views on their music videos. It's okay for established artists because people are searching for those music videos because they have a huge fan base, which will get them initially a million views and it'll get picked up by the algorithm. This method I'm gonna teach you is how you get hundreds of thousands of views on your music video. So if you're stressed that you've created a music video and that view count is only a couple of hundred, with this method you could potentially get hundreds of thousands of views. But before we start, do subscribe. If you like music marketing topics just like this one, then we are uploading three times a week now. So subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also comment down below your feedback on this video because we get into the comments straight away. The method we're going to be using is YouTube pre-roll ads. You probably saw an ad just before this video as well, and it is a great method to get more views on your music video. And today I'm going to show you how to use the basics of the AdWords platform. That is where YouTube ads are run through. It is Google's platform where it manages every bit of their advertising. So if you search for something on Google, and you see in the results there are ads at the top, that is run through AdWords as well. But at the end of that, I'm gonna show you some hidden gems and take you through all the tips and tricks where not just getting views on your music video, but convert them into real fans who are gonna show up to your shows, they're gonna spend money on your merch and potentially get you signed because you've got such an engaged audience. So let's get started with the Google AdWords platform. Once you set up a new ad account, you'll be greeted with this screen. I want you to ignore this screen and go switch to expert mode. That will bring you to this screen. If you haven't found this screen, then simply click create campaign and then it will get you to this screen. I want you to then click brand awareness and click video. Then you'll have got these options here. I want you to go for skippable in stream. That is the pre-roll ads that we discussed earlier. Then we're just going to name our campaign, which let's just say rock or oh, yeah, rock music video. Then campaign total, we're gonna spend 500 pounds. Date, as soon as possible. Always have an end date, just in case something goes wrong, you lose access to your computer, or you fall ill and you're not able to stop the campaign, at least then you know it's gonna stop at a certain date and you're not gonna spend more than nine pounds 60 per day or a total of 500 pounds. The next one is network. You don't want to be on video display partners. You only want to be YouTube videos and definitely not in the search results. Languages, all languages, or you can search, uh, select English only if you prefer and your music is only for an English audience. Then countries, you can either go for, say, English speaking countries only, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, USA, etc. Or you can go for all countries and territories, totally up to you. As you can see on the right here, you have a constantly refreshing estimated audience. Inventory type, this basically means what kind of content your ads are gonna run on. So if there's kind of sexual content or profanity, then maybe you don't want that and some brands don't wanna be associated with that. For us, we just go for the recommended standard inventory. Excluded content, very similar kind of thing, things that you don't want to be associated with. Then we're gonna go down to the ad itself, and this is basically our audience. So let's say rock music fans, we're gonna call this audience. Gender and age, etc. We're just gonna go for a young audience. 
and then doesn't matter about household income or parental status or gender. Audiences here, this is where you can put in your fans. I've already put it in here, so, I, but what you would actually do is go rock music at fans and then you would click these two here and if anything else applies to your music then you can select it as well it does give you ideas based on it as well to be able to select more keywords this is people who have searched this keyword on google or youtube so say people have looked on youtube for nirvana or nirvana smells like teen spirit for example or Metallica, every single line is basically a new phrase you can enter. And you can see on the right here, the chances are it's gonna go up and down based on how many people have actually searched for this. So we want a bit of a wider audience. So we're gonna get rid of them. I think placements is really cool. If you know the artists that you are similar to and people might like your music, you can go and find their channels and run ads on their channels only. So you could go and find Nickelback's channel, for example, and then select it and your ads will run only on Nickelback's channel. That tells you how many impressions you're gonna get from that. So again, that is really cool. And you, the more you put in, the more impressions you're going to get. Target CPM, that is basically how much you're going to spend on 1,000 impressions. So for me, five pounds is very expensive. You shouldn't be spending that, but I like to start high and then go lower and lower and lower and see how cheaply I can get it. AdWords will always look for the cheapest deal for you. So it's not going to go and spend ever five pounds per thousand, but you can put it in and get an idea of what you should be spending and how much your ads are going to cost you. And then you can adjust it for future campaigns once you have an understanding of how much it's going to cost. The final bit is you put your YouTube video into here. So let's just say we were doing Fallout Boy promotion. So Fallout Boy, centuries that yep let's use centuries and there it is it gives you a small preview of what your ad is going to look like the final earl i would just put the link to the video in display earl i'd keep it the same because people like to know that they're staying on the youtube platform on the right here it's going to show you an estimate of how much it's going to cost per thousand views so as you can see it's not even going to come close to that five pounds mark and then just put an ad name, Fallout Boy Music Video, and that's it. Click Create Campaign. And at the top here, I've got a warning message. I need to put my billing information. That's why they're not running. But from there, they will start to run. And it takes about two days for it to actually be approved. Instagram ads and Facebook ads can be approved within the hour, but Google are a bit slower than that. Unfortunately, they expect people to be running ads for months rather than just kind of for a few days. So then in no rush to approve you. So it can take up to two days for you to be approved and start running. So don't worry if it still says under review for a while, that is just the way it is. And I understand it's a very complicated platform and it does take a lot of getting used to. I've been using this platform for three years and I still struggle and get lost in it because there's just so many layers to it. But just remember up here is really useful navigation for you to get backward and forward to specific pages. And that is basically how you start generating views on your music video. And you're probably wondering, I'm looking at the bar down the bottom and why is there so long left of this video? Because Alex, you've, you've shown us how to get hundreds of thousands of views on my music video. So that's what I'm gonna go and do now. Why can't you just tell me to subscribe and like, etc., and end the video? And the reason for that is everyone knows about YouTube ads and how you can get hundreds of thousands of views on your music video. But the problem is, all that does is get people to watch the first five seconds of your video. And that's not enough. You need people to watch the full thing. And the goal shouldn't be to just get numbers on your music. It should be good quality numbers. You should be creating a strategy where those numbers aren't public. 
Nobody's gonna see them. Nobody's gonna see how many views you got, how many likes you got, how many subscribers, how many streams on Spotify, how many Instagram followers. You should do what engages an audience. Forget what your friends are going to say. Create a strategy which creates a fan base, gets people talking about you and your music, and then spread the word organically. If there was a secret hack to get half a million views on a music video, everyone would be doing it and then you'd be clicking YouTube videos which are promising how to get a hundred million views because everyone's got half a million views. So when does it stop? You have to be able to get a fan base. That's how you get signed, that is how you grow and that is how you make money as an artist. And you're not going to achieve this by just getting half a million people to watch five seconds of your music video. And yeah, there are exceptions. There are major labels who use pre-roll ads, but they only use pre-roll ads to their established roster. These artists already, people know them, and therefore they're going out to the existing audience and they're saying, by the way, you know how you really like this artist? They've got a new track out. Do you wanna to listen to it right now? They're not trying to ram down a music video into people's throats and getting views on it. The only other tip I have for you is use pre-roll ads if you can get people's attention in the first five seconds. So get a famous person or an influencer in the first five seconds or something insane has to happen in the first five seconds to get people to watch further. And you can get people to watch 30 seconds and then watch the full thing if they like that 30 seconds. They are the only two exceptions where you should be using pre-roll ads. The rest of the time, you're just getting the numbers up for the sake of it. So how do you achieve this? How do you get real people engaging with your music video, watching the full thing, becoming a fan of you, DMing you, telling you how much they like your music and they've just watched your music video and now they've followed you on Instagram. Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you right now. And the first tip is actually going back to the AdWords platform where we're gonna flip things a little bit. So this is where we left off. This is how you properly do YouTube ads if you want to use them. So you're gonna go on create campaign, new campaign, and instead of going to brand awareness, we're going to product and brand consideration. And what this does is it allows you to do an influence consideration. It allows you to put properly placed ads on YouTube videos. So you can go to everyone who is listening to music right now and show them a clickbait title to watch your music video. So campaign name again, let's just call it clickbait title. Again, campaign total 500 pounds, select date, all the same thing. And instead, we're not gonna go YouTube videos, we're going YouTube search results. Then countries, all countries, English, especially English for this one because it's gonna be an English title. All of this is the same. And let's say rock music listeners. Demographics, let's just go again, again, again. All the same stuff. Keywords, I'm, again, I'm not gonna do that one. Any topic. Then go to the audience and we'll go to these rock fans again and then cost per view five pounds. Now I sped through that because there's no point in going through exactly what we did last time because this is the only bit that's going to be different. Instead of a skippable, skippable in-stream ad, we're going to go for video discovery ad. And what that's going to look like is in the search results or next to videos, we are going to have an ad and we're not going to have the track title of the video. We're going to have a headline such as 66% of people said this was the most brutal music video they've ever seen. And then for the descriptions, you can put the most brutal music video.
clickbait. And then here is what it would look like. So people are engaged. They want to know 66% of people. Will that include me? Am I one of the 66%? I'm going to click this and see if I think it is one of the most brutal music videos I've ever seen. And that is going to entice people to click. So the difference is instead of them being forced to watch, they have chosen to watch and they've watched with something in their mind. And then they're going to watch your music video. And if they like your music, they'll subscribe, they'll save it on Spotify. They have consumed your music for the right reasons. And then again, just click create campaign and then it will go into review. And the best thing with that is you can essentially target everyone who is searching similar artists to you. So you can target everyone who searched for Drake and then come up in the results. And therefore it is effective. People are going to watch the entire video and they have clicked to it. They've consciously clicked to it and want to watch the video. And on that subject, you know that it's hard to get people's attention and to get people to invest three to four minutes. So you've got to sell your music video. You've got to have one line like I've just created there and think what would entice people to watch the music video whether you're putting it in your Instagram bio on your Facebook page or DMing it to people why are they going to click this video tell them that there is something epic that happens at two minutes and you just have to see it or the entire video was created on a budget of a hundred dollars and then people want to watch what a music video looks like when you've only got a hundred dollars to your budget and unlike Spotify you can upload your music video with any title you want and change it later so if you did only have a hundred dollar budget or if it was a good title then you can title it this music video was made with only a hundred dollars and then people click it you get the traction and then people are watching it along with other music videos and the algorithm picks it up and then you can change the title to artist and track title at a later date when you've got the views and then you've got the momentum another thing you can use is Facebook and Instagram ads I love Facebook ads. I know that Instagram is kind of sexier because there's more people on it, there's younger people on it, but Facebook is amazing because it's going to charge you a lot of money to get people away from Facebook. However, if you have a clip of your music video and then in the comments you comment the full music video on YouTube, it is not counted by Facebook as taking people away from the platform. So you only select video views when you're starting your campaign. And if you don't know how to create Facebook and Instagram ads, then I'll link in my tutorial to that one and you can watch it after this video. So you can create a short clip comment the video and people click through. It doesn't even have to be a clip of your music video. It can be a trailer, it can be a teaser, or it could even be a meme which has your music in it. Gets people to watch because there's lots of cute puppies and you've got your music over the top and in the comments it says where the track is from. People click to the full music of the track because they just found out by watching this video of puppies or motorbikes or sports that they like your track and then they discover it, love it, and watch your full music video. If you don't feel the need to have your music on your channel itself, you can also submit to YouTube playlists. There are so many of them. Just search them on YouTube for your genre and then go to the about section and submit to be considered. Okay, you won't get the views on your channel, but if they've got a million subscribers because they have a reputation for uploading good music, then give them your music video to upload and you'll find that you'll get organic reach and people come to subscribe to your channel anyway. So simply go to the about section of every single channel and submit your music video. And the final tip I have for you is pay an influencer to be in your video. It's worked so well for our artists and it doesn't have to be an actor, just someone who has a strong fan base on Instagram or YouTube. I personally prefer using YouTubers because their fan base is more loyal and they're used to seeing their face. And then you'll find that they'll help you promote it and they don't have to use hashtag ad because they were paid as an actor. And also the algorithm will pick it up along with their 
their YouTube videos in the suggested section and you will organically get views that way because they are in the music video. And that is how you build a proper fan base and get real music video views. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more music marketing videos like this, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.